Hi, I'm Marty Johnson from 3D Systems. And today we're here to talk about the Acura AMX Rigid Black. It's a revolutionary material that has really good long-term environmental properties. It has really good toughness. And what we want to do today is show you some post-processing best practices that help you get that toughness and that long-lasting capability. In order to get to these best practices, you can simply go to the technical data sheet and click on the link at the bottom of the page. As you go to the best practices, one place we also want you to look is on the SDS for the material. And be sure that you follow the best PPE practices that keep you safe. After a part is finished, you want to use the auto drain feature in the printer so that the part can drain and drain the excess resin back into the vat. After that, carefully remove the plate and put it onto a cart. One thing that we want to be sure that you understand is to keep these parts segregated from another cart that may have other SLA materials. That way you don't have to have any worry about cross-contamination. Next, you want to take and put your platform into a cleaner with TPM solvent. Be sure that the cleaner has some type of agitation so it will help fully clean the different cavities and underside of your parts. So as you remove your parts from the cleaner, the first thing you want to do is remove the supports and the part off of the platform, and then remove all the different supports from your part. Be careful when handling your part as you remove these supports that you don't smudge or scratch the part. Once you remove the supports from the part, the next thing you want to do is be sure you rinse the part very well. And you want to rinse the TPM or solvent off of your part to be sure you get all and any of the excess solvent out of cavities, out of holes, and even especially on the down-facing surfaces of the part. In fact, it may be a good practice to take a light brush on down-facing surfaces when possible to help remove any of the excess solvent. Once that is done, then take IPA in a squirt bottle and you can squirt off the part and be sure that that helps to remove and break away any excess material from the part. This is also a good time that you can take shop air and blow the part in any of the tight corners or holes or places that were hard to reach. After the initial rinse of the part, next you wanna take your part and submerse the part in IPA for 10 minutes. As you can see, Using the Pro-X 800, the Pro-Jet 7000, or the Pro-Jet 6000, you can print some really large parts. That means you're gonna to have to have the capability to dry and post-cure these parts. So to dry the parts, what we suggest is to put the parts in an oven at 35C for 25 minutes. The reason for this is to help you get all the solvent off of the part, not just the surface. And this is a real critical step so that you get those really tough mechanical properties that we talk about. The table in the technical data sheet gives you the LC3D print box, the Procure 350, and the Procure 750. And the reason for this table is to help you see the different mechanical properties and the relationship of the mechanical properties to the cure box. You're gonna need a different cure system based on how big your parts are are some of the desired properties, as you can see in the table. After you've post-cured your part, there are a lot of different secondary post-processing methods that you can do as well. This particular part has been water home to get a smooth, flat surface. And as you can see in this part, it's a beautiful part, and it expands the capability of where this part can go, whether you want it visual, or if you're just after that surface. So be sure to look and investigate other secondary post-processing methods as well. For the Acura AMX Rigid Black material, to get these revolutionary, long-lasting environmental capability, to get the great toughness, be sure to follow the best practices so you can make the most out of your applications and out of your parts. Good luck.